is September 15, and it's uh, 10 after 6. Sorry about uh, our technology delay, but we are up and running. Uh, so all roll call has been taken. All persons are present except Mr. Catnaw, who may be on shortly. Our next item is Pledge of Allegiance and Silent Prayer in lieu of invocation. Amen. All right. Uh, reading of the minutes of the previous meeting held on August 18th. What are your wishes? We have a motion by Mr. Rayom. I'll second. And we have a second by Mr. Kellogg. Kellogg. <laughs> you want to try to? So, motion by Rayom? Yep. Okay. And then second by Kellogg. Correct. Got it. Sorry. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none, please cast your ballots. Uh, Mr. Zerflu, how do you vote? Aye. Thank you. Motion carried, seven A's and zero nays. Item five is consider Mayor Blazer's appointments to the various committees, commissions, and boards. Attachment number two. And what are your wishes or any questions? I'll make a motion to accept. We have a motion by Mr. Kellogg, seconded by Mr. Veneman. Any further discussion? Seeing none, please cast your ballots. Aye. Thank you, Mr. Zerflu. Uh, motion carried, seven A's, zero nays. Uh, next item is consider a resolution that the city of Wisconsin, Wisconsin RAP is be exempt from paying the payment of the county library tax as provided under section 43.64, parent two, parent B. See attachment three. This is a yearly resolution we pass. Make a motion to accept the resolution. We have a motion by Mr. Koth. Second by Mr. Bemke. Oh, Mr. Ray won't beat you. Uh, uh, any questions or discussion? Seeing none, please. Sure. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead, Mr. Desorti. <laughs> no, I just like to make a point that the resolution is based on the support from outlying jurisdictions outside the city limits uh, towards the library. And I'd just like to point out for the viewing public and the council that, you know, obviously our proportionate share of the library, according to their formula, what other uh, jurisdictions pay is four hundred fifty-six thousand, and we can we levy a tax of approximately one and a quarter million dollars towards libraries. So, I'd just like to point out to the the council and the, obviously our taxpayers that we are obviously paying more than our portion share to support the library. About eight hundred thousand. Correct. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Mr. Zerflu, just I want to, uh, we'll call for your vote after everybody else votes, just in case you, so you don't sway anybody, um, especially on this topic. 
Seeing no other discussion, please cast your ballot. Uh, Mr. Zerflu, how do you vote? Aye. Thank you. Motion carried, seven A's and zero nays. Item seven is consider a resolution extending their emergency declaration proclamation regarding the COVID-19 pandemic. See attachment four. And what are your wishes or any discussion? Well, we could make a motion first and then discuss. We have a motion by Mr. Kubishak, second by Mr. Veneman. Any further discussion? I guess at this point, I just we've been taking calls, and I don't know if any of you have been taking calls, and I have no intention of canceling or taking any action regarding trick or treating. Um, my intent is I'd like to see it go on. So I plan not to use or unless some catastrophe happens. Um, so I, if you, if council has a concern, maybe at the end we can do a referral and we can talk about it in October, at the, but it's getting kind of late, but we can talk about it then. But at this point, I, I, would, I wouldn't use, I wouldn't use that authority to postpone or cancel trick or treating. Any other further discussion? Seeing none, please cast your ballots. Uh, Mr. Zerflu? Aye. Thank you. Motion carried, seven A's, zero nays. Item eight is consider adoption of the action of the standing committees of the Common Council as follows. Uh, Mr. Koth, Finance and Property, committee held September 1st. Thank you, Your Honor. Property and Finance Committee meeting was held by remote teleconferencing on Tuesday, September 1st, 2020 at 4.30 p.m. Um, members of the Finance Committee uh, present was Alderperson Rayom, who sat in for myself, um, and Alderperson Skubashek and Kellogg. Others in attendance are on file with the clerk's office. Chairperson Kellogg called the meeting to order at 4.31 p.m. There was uh, item number two was a presentation from five Beagle designs for renovations to accommodate the needs for the fire department. Laura Eisenagel and Robert Kreisanawalki from five Beagle's design gave a presentation of the proposed renovations to fire station number one and number two, see attachment number one. No action was taken. Item number three was considered for approval for assessment services with forward appraisal LLC, Steve Shepperell for assessment years 2021, 2022, and 2023. It was moved by Realm, seconded by Kellogg to approve the contract for assessment services with forward appraisal LLC for assessment years 2021, 2022, and 2023. See attachment two, motion carried with Alderperson Kubishak voting in the negative. And number four was consider a uh, Wisconsin DOT signals and ITS standalone program for a state uh, for grant application for signal improvements along Riverview Expressway at Chase West Grand Avenue and High Street. It was moved by Kellogg, seconded by Rayom, to approve the Wisconsin signals and ITS standalone program grant application for signal improvements along the Riverview Expressway at Chase Street West Grand and High Street. Motion carried. Item number five was beverage operator licenses. It was moved by Kellogg, second by Kubishak to approve the beverage operator licenses. Motion carried. And a list of those approved for is on this report. Item number six was audit of the bills. It was motioned by Kubishak, second by Kellogg to approve check number 5048 to 5471. Motion carried. Item number seven was preliminary budget discussion. The committee discussed the budget process and the timeline with the mayor and the finance director. The finance director will provide the committee with a preliminary budget meeting schedule for the months of October and November. It was moved by Kellogg and seconded by Kubishak to schedule a public hearing on the 2021 budget meeting on Thursday, November 12, 2021. Motion carried. Item number eight was to set the next meeting date. The next regularly scheduled finance and property committee Meeting will be October 6, 2020 at 4.30 p.m. 
Item 9 was adjournment. It was moved by Kellogg and seconded by Kubishak to adjourn. And meeting was adjourned. It does not have an end time on here for what time they stopped at. Um, I'll hold here if anyone wants anything held out. Scott? Is there a correction where it says uh, November 12, 2021? It should be 2020. At the end. Okay. Oh. Anyone else want anything held out or? I'll move for adoption of the report with the correction on item number seven to amend the date from November 12, 2021 to November 12, 2020. Thank you, Mr. Koth. We have a motion by Mr. Koth. Second by Mr. Vanderman. Any further discussions? Seeing none, please cast your ballots. Mr. Zerflu. Aye. Thank you. Motion carried, seven nays, zero nays. Uh, Mr. Aon, Public Works held September 1st. Thank you, Your Honor. The Public Works Committee met on Tuesday, September 1st, 2020 in the Council Chambers at City Hall and by remote video conference. Tom Rome, Jay Catnall, and Dean Veneman are present. Others attending are on file in the clerk's office. Item one, call the meeting to order. The meeting is called to order at 6 p.m. Item two, at 6 p.m., we open and conduct an assessment hearing for the installation of municipal improvements on East Grand Avenue. That's the bridge to 3rd Street, including 2nd Street from Birch Street to East Grand Avenue. The assessment hearing was called to order at 6.01 p.m. City Engineer Eichstead presented a review of assessment methods and the engineer report. There were no public comments. The assessment hearing was closed at 6.03 p.m. Item three, consider the final resolution accepting the assessment report and corresponding assessments for municipal improvements on East Grand Avenue bridge to 3rd Street, including 2nd Street from Birch Street to East Grand Avenue. Motion by Veneman, second by Rayum to adopt the final resolution accepting the assessment report and corresponding assessments for municipal improvements on East Grand Avenue, bridge to 3rd Street, including 2nd Street from Birch Street to East Grand Avenue, at motion carried 3 to 0. Item 4, at 6 p.m., 6.15 p.m., open and conduct an assessment hearing for the it's installation of municipal improvements on 7th Street, East Grand Avenue to Oak Street. The assessment hearing was called to order at 6.04 p.m. The engineer report was presented. There were no public comments. The assessment hearing was closed at 6.05 p.m. Item 5, consider the final resolution accepting the assessment report and corresponding assessments for municipal improvements on 7th Street, East Grand Avenue, Oak Street. Motion by Rayom, second by Katnaw to approve the final resolution accepting the assessment report and corresponding assessments for municipal improvements on 7th Street, East Grand Avenue, and Oak Street, that motion carried three to zero. Item six, consider reducing the speed limit on 48th Street between 1,013 feet south of Commerce Drive to 1,231 feet north of Commerce Drive from 45 miles an hour to 35 miles per hour for rail crossing safety and in consideration with the town of, coordination with the town of Grand Rapids. Motion by Veneman, seconded by Ariom to reduce the speed limit on 48th Street between 1,013 feet south of Commerce Drive to 1,231 feet north of Commerce Drive from 45 feet, 45 miles per hour to 35 miles an hour for rail crossing safety and in coordination with the town of Grand Rapids. And that motion carried three to zero. Item seven, consider permanent limited easements with parcel 07-00 173E and parcel 07-00187B in the town of Grand Rapids provision triangles along 48th Street in preparation for the grade crossing in the Rapids East Co Commerce Center. Motion by Rayom, second by Catnaw to approve permanent limited easements with parcels, as I stated, in the town of Grand Rapids provision triangles along 48th Street in preparation for the grade crossing in Rapids East Commerce Center. Item eight, discuss and consider a signal and ITS standalone grant application for signal improvements along the Riverview Expressway. This item was discussed, recognizing the motion for approval was made at the Finance and Property Committee as per city policy. 
Item 9, discuss the special assessment study. The special assessment study was reviewed and discussed. City staff are directed to promote the study on the city website and social media. Item 10, discuss and consider long-term goals of the street program, maintenance and reconstruction, based on the review of the special assessment study. City staff are directed to include this item on the referral list and include it monthly on the public works agenda until the committee gives further directions. Item 11, review the DPW report. The report is available on the city's website. Item 12 was to re review the referral list. That re list was reviewed. Item 13 was adjourned. There was a motion by Ray Ohm, seconded by Katnaw to adjourn. That motion carried three to zero. The, motion, the meeting was adjourned at 7.24 p.m. And with that, Your Honor, I move for adoption of the report. Thank you, Mr. Rayom. Uh, we have a motion by Rayom, seconded by Mr. Koth. Any, I guess anybody want to hold anything out or any discussion? Oh. Seeing none. <laughs> oh, Mr. Rayom. I do, and I, I, I don't know really what to do with it. Uh, Joel and neither one's here from engineering. I don't know, the rest of you get an email from uh, Grand Rapids on uh, 48th Street? Mr. Uh, Terry's online. Oh, is he? Yep. Okay. So if you have some questions. Joel, did you get a request from Arnie Nystrom um, for flashing uh, signals there on, I didn't bring the email with me, so bear with me, on uh, 48th Street. He couldn't be here tonight because they have a meeting that was canceled previously and they scheduled it for this evening, so. Sure, yes. Uh, first of all, can everyone hear me okay? Yes. Okay. Um, <clears throat> all the personal realm, I, I did receive a, a, a forward of an email requesting consideration for flashing lights um, in conjunction with uh, the uh, uh, railroad crossing on 48th, that does need to be reviewed by the engineering department. Uh, typically, in my experience, what I've found is uh, flashing lights uh, that flash constantly 24-7 are useful for about a month or two. And after that, drivers that uh, are familiar with the area ignore them, they already know that they're there. And drivers that aren't familiar with the area would normally see the railroad crossing sign and not need them. So um, typically, we find that those are uh, an expensive solution. Um, and I think that there may be some alternatives to initially draw attention to the existence of a railroad crossing there. Um, and but, but I will review that with the engineering department and we'll prepare a report and uh, present that at the next Public Works Committee meeting. Okay. Thanks, Joe. Uh, Mr. Veneman. Yes, I just, regarding 9 and 10, um, in the review of the special assessment study, I guess I just for a little for clarification for the public and for the remainder of the older persons that weren't at the meeting. Um, first of all, I want to thank the um, city staff, Mr. Terry, Mr. Eichstead, and all the time they put into the special assessment study, it was pretty extensive. And if we'd uh, reviewed it and made any kind of action at that meeting, it probably would have got over about two in the morning. So um, I appreciate all the work. And so basically we just wanted to understand, people understood that we'd like to leave it on the referral list and give the public a chance to review it on the city website and social media and then continue to talk about it at the next public works meeting and maybe move forward from there. So. Just wanted to clarify that. Thanks. Thank you, sir. Any further discussion? Seeing none, please cast your ballots. Mr. Zerfel. Aye. Thank you. <laughs> Motion carried. Seven A's, zero nays. And uh, Mr. Kubishak, HR committee from September 3rd. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, Human Resources Committee meeting met September 3rd, 2020 in the uh, council chambers. Uh, meeting was called to order at 4.32 p.m. 
Item number two, discuss and consider approval of updating a pay scale for seasonal recreational department positions. Uh, score timer, t-ball, soccer, volleyball, basketball, soccer, aides and officials. Motion by Bemke, second by Kellogg to approve proposed changes for seasonal recreational department posi uh, positions as presented. Motion carried three to zero. Uh, see attachment for proposed wage scales. That'll be in the clerk's office. Item number three, discuss and consider approval of updating pay scale for crossing guards. Motion by Kubitschek, second by Bemke to approve updating the pay scale for crossing guards as presented. Motion carried three to zero. The pay rates presented are as follows. One to five years of service, $13 per hour without Cohen's, $14 an hour with Cohen's. Five years or more of service, $13.50 per hour without Cohen's, $14.50 with Cohen's. Item number four, discuss and consider approval of, ch of a change in the firefighter's work schedule from a schedule that consists of 24 hours on duty followed by 48 hours off duty to a new schedule of 48 hours on duty and 96 hours off duty. The change would be a one-year trial and would require both parties revisit the work schedule in October of 2021 and mu mutually agree to continue the new schedule beyond the year 2021. Motion by Kubitschek, second by Bemke to have HR manager facilitate further discussion and resolution uh, to propose trial schedule with a draft to be presented at October 6th HR committee meeting. Uh, motion carried three to zero. Item number five, discuss and consider approval of a contract with Poggle HR Consulting for Human Resources Consulting Services. Uh, motion by Kellogg, second by Bemke to approve contract renewal of Pagel HR Consulting not to exceed $5,000. Motion carried three to zero. Item number six, discuss and consider approval of a revision to the emergency sick leave policy to address employee leave if a dependent is required to quarantine. Motion by Bemke, second by Kubishak to approve a revision to the city's emergency sick leave policy to add an, an additional two weeks, 80 hours or equivalent work schedule of employee leave for leave necessitated because of quarantine orders and to extend the use of the city's emergency paid sick leave until December 31st, 2020. Motion carried three to zero. Item number seven, adjournment. Motion by Bemke, second by Kellogg to adjourn. Motion carried three to zero and the meeting adjourned at 5.46 p.m. With that, I will submit a motion for approval. Thank you, Mr. Kubitschek. Motion by Mr. Kubitschek, seconded by Mr. Bemke. Is there any further discussion? Uh, Mr. Ayo. Can I just discuss without holding anything out? <laughs> I think, yeah. yeah. Okay, just wanted to make sure I thought so. Um, on item five, and I don't, and both these I'm gonna talk about, I don't have a necessarily a problem with, but item five, and it's only the, for $5,000, and I forget what the, the hourly rate or daily rate is, whatever, but, uh, is this looking at maybe the last time of doing this? For, uh, it, not that I have a necessarily problem with it, but is there an end to come to this? Your yeah. Honor, me. Uh, that, Mr. Raymond, that was actually discussed, um, whether there was a, 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 an end to this. That's why we put a cap on there. Originally on the agenda, it did not have a dollar figure on there. I don't, I, I think the services are $100 per hour of, of um, HR consulting. Um, the, the rationale for this, I guess, is because we've uh, taken time and we've hired um, an HR manager who we want to invest in, you know, and we want to give this person the opportunity to have someone to, to consult with. Um, it, can I guarantee that this is going to end after $5,000? No. Uh, because I don't know, you know, I don't know if if um, uh, Mr. Hartman is going to feel 100% comfortable or whatever for after 5,000 is it 5,020 dollars is it 5,050 dollars? I don't know, but that that is what the committee um, decided is we'll set it as a cap because then I'll have to go in front of the council again, and then the council is the one that will decide if we continue doing this or if we don't. I. I guess I don't know if that answers your question, but that's the best way that I can answer it. It does. I guess, to me, I guess at some point I would see that 
I would see that it would end. <laughs> I, I would think so. Uh, so that's uh, you know, I just I just wanted to bring it, bring that up. I was tuned in that night to your meeting and that, and so but thank you. Um, on item six, and not again, not to um, uh, disagree with it. I guess the the problem, the in theory, the problem I have with it is all the ones, all the clones running around the country that say and there is nothing and it's going away and evaporating and that even we didn't even have it to start with the COVID and that, and yet uh, we uh, continue to do this. Um, maybe it's time the council says that there really is a COVID ep epidemic that's going on and that's why we continue to do this. Because uh, if, if, there, if there isn't, it's, uh, and I think there is, but uh, for those that don't believe in it, um, I guess this may be a freebie that they're getting. So just so everybody um, takes that into consideration, um, um, probably somebody, I wonder if they couldn't uh, say they aren't going to be quarantined, they'll come in. So, just some more food for thought, and uh, I'll just rest with that, and we can. Thank you, Mr. Elm. Any further discussion? Seeing none, please cast your ballots. Mr. Zerflu? Joe, is there a flu? I'm sorry, I. Thank you, Mr. Zerflu. <laughs> uh, motion carried, seven A's, zero nays. Uh, next item on our agenda is reports of other committees, commissions, and boards, and departmental reports. What are your wishes? I'll make a motion to have them placed and file in the clerk's office. We have a motion by Mr. Kubishak, seconded by Mr. Kellogg. Any discussion on any of the reports? Seeing none. Oh. Go ahead, Ms. Ram. <laughs> no, I just put a plug in, I guess, because uh, I think the, uh, on the 26th uh, this month, on, the, on Saturday the 26th, is the final alarm procession uh, being at the uh, Firefighters Memorial down along the river bank and then there'll be a procession through town. Um, I don't think I've seen the official route, if it may be the same as before, but uh, so I just wanted to let, I guess, the public that's uh, listening in and that, that uh, that'll be taking place on the 26th at 7 p.m., I think, Scott, at 7 p.m., so that's all. Uh, any further discussion? Seeing none, please cast your ballots. Uh, Mr. Zerf Zerflu? Aye. Thank you. Motion carried, seven A's, zero nays. Um, I guess uh, it's not on here, but does anybody have any referrals? Uh, the clerk doesn't have any. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Kubitschek. Good. I don't have a referral, but I guess uh, to initiate uh, uh, potentially scheduling, do we got any dates for budget uh, meetings at all that we would want to try and do? If 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 we want to, if there aren't any, do we want to take two minutes to kind of throw some out there right now so that maybe between all of us and then potentially the public is aware of it? I don't know. I just again to get discussion rolling for budget meetings. Just to let you know that uh, this next next week. Uh, Tim and I will be meeting with the department heads to review the budgets they submitted and start to compile it together into um, a, a document for you. I don't know if we're ready to schedule any meetings yet or if we want to discuss it at the next H or finance committee meeting on dates going forward from that point. Um, or if you already have a thought in October. What, what, Oh, go ahead, Tim. Uh, sure. Um, 
As we discussed at the last finance committee meeting, um, I'll be putting together a uh, preliminary schedule for actual finance committee meetings for the month of October and November. So I will have that out in advance of the October finance committee meeting. Thank you, Tim. Is that good, Mr. Kubitschek? Okay. Mr. Koth, any good? It's good. Okay, uh, Ms. Real. Yeah, I guess in, re <laughs> in regards to uh, Mayor, I think what you mentioned earlier was uh, about trick or treating and that. I think it may be something that we should put on the agenda just to see what is transpiring. Um, okay. So maybe I don't know which committee it would go to before that, but uh, um, just to see what the situation is that we're in. Okay. Hopefully it could take place, but along with that, I think to, if it does, to further you know, people to not go around in big groups of 20 and that type of stuff, so. But. And the other uh, item uh, or thing that came to mind is uh, from uh, uh, the compost site workers, they're in our, um, as far as we pay them, don't we? I mean, they're in the budget, right? Uh, is it, yeah, through a temp service or? Okay. Sure. Yeah. yeah um, Yes, we uh, budget uh, compost site workers, and we use a uh, temporary employment service yep. for those. So those are in the compost budget. Okay. Yep. And I, I was going to double check on the in the agenda, and I uh, forgot to do so. But I, uh, I believe they're paid uh, uh, common wage, seven and a quarter. Um, and it may be worthwhile to look at possibly increasing that. Um, they, you know, there is a responsibility with that for um, what can be dumped where and whatever. Uh, and, I, you know, if we're going to entrust them to do that, uh, I just wonder if it isn't something that should be something more than a, you know, minimum wage. <laughs> because I believe that's what they're paid. Okay, that's all. Okay, thank you, Mr. Elm. Uh, Mr. Koth? Thank you, Your Honor. I don't have a referral or communication a committee, but um, just more so for the viewing audience and anyone that might be interested in to uh, share this with the fellow members of the council, I've uh, made the decision I will not be <coughs> seeking a fourth term on the council. So if anyone is interested in taking out papers uh, for this seat in November and moving forward and getting nomination signatures. Um, if you want to contact me, I'd be willing to help somebody. And um, it hasn't been an easy decision to make. And I've uh, made a lot of good friendships here, I think, and learned a lot from other people I've been here with for the last almost six years. Thank you, Mr. Cole. Uh Mr. Veneman? Yes, I just wanted to clarify and what, regarding what Mr. Graham said about the compost site laborers. So did he say that we outsource that through an employment service? Mm -hmm. So then we really don't have control over what they're paid, correct? We pay the service. Is that the way it would work? And we pay the service, and then the, mm -hmm. then the service decides what to pay them. So we give a contract with the service. So we outsource that. We can't control the wages, correct? Or am I understanding that wrong? Tim, do you know? You are right. <laughs> Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll, you know, I, actually, I just pulled up the invoice on our computer system, and uh, we contracted through Nicolay Staffing and the compost site attendance. We get billed from Nicolay Staffing for ten dollars and eighty cents an hour. Obviously, you know that's probably not what they're paid because obviously there's you know a roll up in those wages for the administration of Nicolay Staffing, but we get billed for ten eighty an hour. Thank you. Uh, I, recently, I think last night, I asked Mr. Realm about uh, we should look probably at trying to get a legislative committee uh, meeting together. I think we do have a number of items. And so we can discuss that also. Anything further from anybody? 
Seeing none, final item is adjournment. What are your wishes? We have a motion by Kubishak. Second. Second by Mr. Koth. Uh, all in favor say aye. aye. Any opposed? Aye. Thank you. Motion carried. Everybody have a good evening. Thank you.